There's over 1 million tonnes of food uh, waste disposed of each year and in recognition of the agreement of the United Nations uh, Sustainable Development Goals um, in 2015 and the Circular Economy Package, the previous minister indicated that he wished to promote food prevention at a national level and I would just like if you could outline, Minister, the steps um, that can be taken in order to uh, minimise uh, food waste. Um, the, the disposal of food waste, particularly in our supermarkets. Minister. Thank you very much and thank you, Deputy. Uh, globally, one third of all food produced for human consumption is estimated to be wasted each year. Per household, food waste is thought to cost €700 Euro per annum in Ireland. And we have an ambition to half that by 2030. In Ireland, we waste close to 1 million tonnes of food every year, and about a third of that arises in retail and catering but a somewhat smaller share of waste from consumers and somewhat larger share from producers. While supermarkets are directly responsible for the disposal of only 2% of food waste, their influence across the supply chain from farm to fork make them central actors in combating our national food waste problem. Recognising this, the Department and the EPA sought to involve major supermarkets in its efforts to reduce food waste. Aldi, BWG, Lidl, Musgraves and Tesco have all participated in my depart the Department's Actions Group on Food Waste. This has involved in signing up for the Food Waste Charter, promising to stop food waste, signing up for the Food Donation Network's Food Cloud, uh, a place I sent visited their centre there lately, and it's astounding how much food is being saved uh, through that mechanism, implementing the collection and sharing of food waste data. I believe we can build on this foundation and with further initiatives within the, with the sector to encourage better practices by producers and consumers all along the food chain. Thank you, uh, thank you Minister, for your reply. And I, so I welcome the, the steps taken by the Department to so work with these retailers in order to try and tackle um, the boost of food waste disposal or to reduce the amount of food waste it produced. And I suppose from what you're saying in relation to them signing a, a food waste charter and agreeing changes in policy, that a lot of that is a voluntary code. And just do you feel that that is adequate or that regulation would be needed in this, in this area? Thank you. The uh, um, agreements that are in place at the moment are effective. Uh, we have to keep them monitored. But as I said, when I visited uh, the food cloud facility here in Dublin, and I saw the amount of food that was going to be distributed from there and has been distributed on a daily basis, it, it opens your eyes to what food uh, has been or was being thrown into the bin. So I think we, by education uh, in schools, both in national schools we are, uh, and secondary schools, we will also be generating the, the thinking about food and food waste and how it should be uh, dealt with. Um, we also saw so it, it's from the bottom up, we're going to get this sorted out. And um, remember, 700 euro of waste per household. Um, if you were to save half that, that's 350 euro. So you just really, it's so tangible and it's so simple. And I think people have to think, and I think education is one part of it. And on that, we have, uh, um, there's a number of steps which have been taken. Um, the, uh, the EPA and local authorities are running active on live, online and on the ground campaigns all year round to equip households. So I think there's a number of initiatives there. I don't think regulation is the way to go. I think it's education. Uh, thank you, Minister, and uh, I, I welcome your response. And I think the government could do more, and I welcome the initiatives that are taken there to encourage our citizens. I think there's a great awareness out there uh, among citizens, but I think that we could encourage citizens and our retailers to put a more serious effort into tackling this issue. And I do agree that education was a key, played a key role in relation to the reduce, reuse, and recycle campaign that happened a number of years ago. And I think the children led the way in Ireland on that. So I think education certainly is a good step forward in relation to tackling this. Figures, 60% uh, of available waste such as leftovers and gone off fruit and vegetables. The EPA could have come up with these figures. 20% is potentially available such as bread crusts and potato skins. 20% is unavailable such as chicken bones and fruit and vegetable peelings. So I think we need to get 
this uh, uh, education out there. Uh, and th the initiatives are there, like Stop the Food Waste, which is a website campaign to provide expert online resources aimed at householders and communities. Stop Food Waste Challenges are community-based initiatives. Uh, the website mywaste.ie, a recently launched website, a media campaign, which provides a specific household or queries and the answers to them. And as a specific Christmas focus campaign will be launched uh, across uh, Ireland uh, through social media this week and next week. Thank you.